Now is the time to answer some common health questions. Joining me is News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria. Thanks so much for being here. He is the right. chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. Uh, our topic today, well, we have two of them. The first one, caffeine. A lot of us drink more of it than others, and we go through it faster than others. The question is, does it keep us alert? Yeah, well, you know, it, it is the most widely consumed pharmacologically active substance in the wow. world, meaning it's really everywhere. You see it in coffee, tea, soft drinks, sure. chocolate. Sure. And then now, of course, with a plethora of energy drinks out there, you really can't get enough of it. And yes, it does increase your alertness because it increases, and by doing that, it increases your concentration because what it does is it actually stimulates neurotransmitters in your brain. And adenosine is what it binds to. And adenosine is actually responsible for making you sleepy. So it prevents adenosine from working. Mm. Now keep in mind, very short lived. In about 45 minutes, coffee is 99% absorbed. So it's already in your system. Only lasts about two to three hours. So that's okay. why we always get that urge to have that second cup or even coffee. third cup. You, you keep gotcha. going back for more. You bet which is also why we get that characteristic crash at the end of that two or three hours because that adenosine now is surging your brain and you it feel happens. sleepy. Yeah, when you, you feel it, it, you feel it. That's well, right. let's talk Which a little bit right about, about this time of the day. Right? <laughs> it's time for more caffeine. Uh, what about grapefruit? A lot of people are fans of eating grapefruit, but yeah. can it in interfere with your medicine? You know what? It actually can. I mean, thank goodness that grapefruit really isn't a top of the favorite fruit list for a lot of us, but the reality is, is that it, it is drink, it's drank quite a bit. And yes, it does interfere with medications. It has a chemical in it called furanocoumarin and what that does is it binds to an enzyme in the intestines and it actually can cause the levels of certain medications to rise in your mm. bloodstream. That okay. number is up to 85 different medications and 43 of those can actually be potentially fatal, like statins, Zocor, Mevacor, gotcha. certain calcium channel blockers that we take for your blood pressure, like Procardia, antidepressants like Zoloft, gotcha. even certain pain medications, and even ED medications like Viagra. So no one is spared from the wicked effects gotcha. of grapefruit. Wow. Keep in mind as well, one glass in the morning, is all it takes, and it will last all day long and block that enzyme. So, so long be lasting. aware. If you're on any medications okay. at all, make sure you please check with your doctor. Talk to your doctor. Any, for, you Even your bet. pharmacist if pharmacist you have any questions. Too. Always a good choice. All right. Two great questions for us today. If you have any questions for Dr. Saria, you can send it in by going to our website, WPTV.com. Click on the health link, scroll down, and on the right-hand side, you will see a form to write your question. Definitely encourage you to do that. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. We'll see you again next week.